Bonjour, je m'appelle Emily Ludwig Schaefer, je suis américaine et j'habite et je travaille à New York. I make paintings. Normally, I explore interior spaces, architectural spaces, and garden scenes. And my work is often punctuated by these stone statues of women. It started off having them very much on pedestals, on platforms, to root them in their place, to make it clear that they're static figures. But as the work has grown and continues to grow, I've been freeing them sometimes from those pedestals. So my, my first solo show was at Gallery Pact in 2018, and that show was mostly comprised of larger paintings that were more pared down architectural spaces. But I had included one work on paper that was the first figurative painting I had made since art school. It was a group of women all linked together and it was a monument to female friendship. But in the five years now since that show, the women and the, the figures have taken on lives of their own. They've broken off from each other and formed smaller groups or they've gone on to be more individuals. I wanted to take the hard-edged, um, rigid way that I paint and uh, ask the question of what would my paintings look like if they were more intimate portraits because generally I paint women and spaces that are anonymous or not specific. And so with this body of work, everything is based off of a specific historical figure, um, both literally and figuratively. I use painting as a way to explore composition and color and very formal concerns, but I always want to infuse it with a whimsy as well um, and to disrupt or continue the disruption of certain historical tropes. So the women in my painting, for instance, they are usually depicted in more liminal states, not just these static poses and contrapposto of them sort of the, as these sexualized objects or these like straightforward portraits of uh, women just straight on. I, I want to capture them in these positions that are not as often depicted, such as in boredom or friendship or transition. Um, it's a way to sort of free the female form from the more static roles that they are assigned often in history. Sometimes I think of these spaces as what we leave behind, maybe after humans have gone or left the scene. And so the only thing that is left is the architecture and the statues or images that they've chosen to create and leave behind. Mm -hmm.